Hi, my name is Alejandro, and I'm a community health worker. Community health workers play an important role on the asthma care team. We help to identify and support people as they work to control their asthma. This is especially true for people who live in underprivileged areas and have more challenges and needs. Asthma is a common health condition across the United States. Nearly 25 million, that's one in every 12 people in the United States, have asthma. This includes 7 million children under the age of 18. About half of them had an asthma episode in the last year. People with asthma miss more than 10 million days of work and approximately 13 million school days each year. Asthma is more common among people who are minorities, low income, and live in urban areas. And people in these groups also have a higher risk of dying from asthma. Also, asthma is an expensive condition. Each year, asthma costs about $56 billion in medical costs, missed school and work days, and early deaths. Asthma costs also include doctor visits, medication refills, transportation to doctor visits, missed work days, visit to emergency rooms, and hospitalizations. Asthma is an obstructive lung disease which means the air gets trapped in the lungs, making it hard to breathe. In normal breathing, air enters the body through the nose and mouth and freely travels through the airways into the lungs until it enters the air sacs. This is where the oxygen enters the bloodstream. An asthma episode or attack occurs when a person breathes in an asthma trigger. This can cause the airways to become smaller due to swelling and extra mucus that narrow and clog the inside of the airways, and muscles that tighten around the airways. An easy way to remember this is set, swelling, extra mucus, and tightening. The most common symptoms of an asthma episode are coughing, chest tightness, wheezing, and shortness of breath. Asthma cannot be cured, but it can be controlled with medication and by avoiding asthma triggers. Medications treat asthma symptoms by reducing the swelling in the airways and relaxing the muscles that squeeze the airways. This makes it easier to breathe. To diagnose and treat asthma, medical providers follow a set of national guidelines. These are often called guidelines-based care, the expert panel report, or best practices. According to the National Asthma Guidelines, there are three major goals of asthma treatment. First is to reduce the harm that asthma may cause. Reducing harm simply means finding ways to keep asthma from getting in the way of things you do every day. Second is to reduce the risk of possible negative effects from asthma medications. And third is to reduce the negative effects of future asthma symptoms. Not treating and taking care of your asthma can lead to problems. Even mild asthma symptoms have the risk of becoming severe. Also, ongoing swelling in the airways can lead to permanent damage, emergency room visits, hospital stays, and even death. A medical provider will diagnose asthma by taking a medical history, doing a physical exam, and performing an important breathing test called spirometry. Spirometry is also done regularly to check whether asthma is under control. Community health workers play an important role in the asthma care team. CHWs can be the link to helping people understand asthma and how to keep it well controlled by showing and teaching individuals how to control their asthma, reviewing their treatment plan created by their medical provider, identifying barriers to following the treatment plan, identifying asthma triggers and doing an in-home trigger assessment, connecting people with social and community services, and assisting in the coordination of care among the asthma care team.